All right, moving right along. NFL team preview. Today we got Seattle Seahawks. A lot of people think Seattle overachieved expectations last season after trading Russell Wilson. Odds makers posted a win total of only five and a half wins for Seattle last year. They easily surpass that on their way to the playoffs. But Pete Carroll always finds a way to win regardless of his roster. In his 13 seasons with Seattle, he's gone over the win total nine times. Uh, he's never won less than seven games. And of those nine times he went over, six of those he's gone over by two or more games. Um, what I found most interesting about this Seahawks team last year, um, in all those Russell Wilson years in Seattle, it wasn't until last season with Geno Smith the Seahawks had the highest pass rate, highest pace snap to snap, and highest yards per play of any season they had with Russ Wilson, uh, Russell Wilson. Um, and they might even improve on those passing numbers this season. They drafted... Uh, that wide receiver from Ohio State, Jackson Smith Nijigba, or JSN as he's being called, going to add serious depth that wide receiver, going to give them a real option to run um, three wide receiver sets, which they haven't really had in the past. Uh, three wide receiver formations are something offensive coordinator Shane Waldron has hinted at wanting to run more of. Uh, no team besides the Chiefs ran multiple tight end pass plays more than Seattle. Uh, Gino was very efficient uh, in those multiple tight end formations. They also ran play action at a top five rate, which this all resulted in finishing top six in intended air yards. He aired it out, and he had a lot of time to throw because of those two tight end formations and using the play action, keeping the defense off balance. But even as successful as Gino was passing out of multiple tight end sets, he ranked fourth passing out of three wide formation, only behind Kansas City, the Dolphins, and the Bengals. Um, with a wide receiver group of Lockett, Metcalf, and uh, JSN now, gives them a lot of options in the passing game. But Pete Carroll did also draft two running backs and said in recent press conferences the running game helps our defense and special teams. It also sets up the passing game and protects our QB. We want to run the ball more. We want to be a good running team, end quote. Now, offensive coordinator Shane Waldron has recently done some uh, media interviews saying how they're going to open things up and rely on Geno Smith a lot in the uh, offense and the passing game. But he followed up by saying how DJ Dallas and Kenneth Walker and the running backs they drafted are all competing for the important role as RB1 and how important that spot will be. So the truth, I guess, lies somewhere in the middle. Um, I think we see Seattle play out of the three wide receiver set a lot. Um, they didn't draft JSN for him to just not be on the field, but I think they're going to run the ball a lot out of these three wide formations. Uh, this could result in some big explosive plays. That's when you see a lot of these big run run plays out of the spread formations. I'm not sure who's going to be the featured running back last year. Rookie running back Kenneth Walker was the worst running back in the NFL based on success rate. Um, he had a good amount of explosive plays that helped boost his EPA numbers. Uh, now, Seattle had the third easiest strength of schedule last season, and it's not that hard this year either. Starts easy, ends easy. Um, this year, on four different occasions, opponents will have to play in Seattle while on the last leg of a back-to-back -back road game. Since 1999, teams playing in Seattle on the second leg of a back-to-back -back road game are just 40% against the spread, 19 and 28, and are only 21% straight up with a record of 10 and 38. Uh, the middle stretch from weeks 12 to 15 are pretty tough. They have to face the NFC's best, really. Uh, Dallas, Philly, and San Fran in four straight games. Um, I think the biggest improvement made this offseason for Seattle was in the area they needed most. Their defense struggled last year, 26th in EPA per play allowed, 19th against the pass. They got beat by good quarterbacks, but played okay versus lower-rated quarterbacks. Um, they played nine quarterbacks that ranked 20th or worse in EPA. Only two of them posted positive EPA performances. Um, not tackling on first contact constantly hurt Seattle, allowing the highest yards after contact number in the NFL. Uh, the run D finished 26 in EPA. But they should improve this year. Um, love their young secondary. Uh, that's now a year older with the cornerback duo of uh, Tariq Woolen and Kobe Bryant. Kobe with a C. Um, it seems uh, Seattle always finds like solid defensive backs late in drafts. Um, they actually drafted one of the top cornerbacks in this year's draft, the kid from Illinois, Witherspoon, I think his name is. 
Uh, if safety Jamal Adams is back after tearing his quad in the season opener last season, it's a very good-looking secondary. Uh, Bobby Wagner is back, uh, who grades out as a top linebacker by most metrics. Um, but the Seahawks' uh, success really is going to rely on Geno Smith. He got his contract. He's no longer looking over his shoulder for job security. Um, he has the help of one of the best wide receiver uh, duos in the league with uh, DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. Lockett's the best wide receiver in the league based on how often he's open and how often he catches the ball. Um, you know, he's really in a league of his own there. Uh, but now imagine if rookie JSN works out, they could have a scary three wide receiver group there. But um, I think it's more likely or more possible we see some regression from Geno. He started to tail late last season as teams started to get more and more film on him. Also, Geno had a lot of luck last year. He had a total of 14 INTs dropped, most by any quarterback with uh, 300 pass attempts. They already finished pretty high in turnovers, so think about, you know, it could have been worse. Is kind of scary. Uh, that's all I got for the Seahawks. I believe that's 10 teams down now, only 22 more to go. Next team up, we'll get the Redskins, I mean the Commanders, so be on the lookout for that.